Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Beer Review. So today we're going over to Modest Beer. Um, got this on the Bruiser Discovery Box, uh, which I've actually put a hold on for the moment. Um, got a lot of beer, trying not to get too ahead of myself. But nonetheless, this is sweet as New Zealand brown ale. So, never had a New Zealand brown ale. That's interesting. These guys are from County Antrim. Uh, my wife lives, my wife was born in Derry, uh, so London Derry to some Derry. Um, and the funny thing is, yesterday, Thursday, the July, the whatever it was, 25th, I don't know what day it is, um, there was a wedding at, at Cockliffe, my uh, workplace, where I am the gardener. And um, I said hello to these people and I got the Irish accent straight away and we started talking and, she, and, and they mentioned about it, where they're from, it's very wet and I says, where are you from? I says, oh, um, Northern Ireland, County Antrim. I says, oh, my, my wife's from Derry and, and, and obviously it borders County Antrim so that, that's amazing. It's a small world and they are, they're, hopefully they had a great wedding. Um, uh, the grounds are looking amazing. I don't know about the rest of the wedding things, but hopefully it went as, as as great as it could have done, you know, for the bride, the groom, and, and all the other guests as well. So anyway, this is Modest Beers, Nelson Savin, Motueka, or the hops, to make the brown ale. 4.8%. Um, put me bloody... There you go. So it says here, hops, yeah. Grain is best pale, Munich, oats, aromatic, crystal brown and light chocolate. So a lot going off. Um, yeast is London Ale Free. Um, Northern Ireland is the closest thing to New Zealand in the Northern hem Hemisphere. Rolling green ales near constant rain. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Every time we grab it, it rains every single flipping day. Um, good for gardening. Uh, an excellent beer made as an ongoing experiment with some of our favourite New Zealand hops. And I, when, when we get our backsides back to Northern Ireland, I'll find this brewery. And uh, yes, yeah. Raggy's Beer Reviews on tour. You know it's coming. It will come at some stage. Oh, it's got some twang to it, that bad boy has. So here we go, brown ale. This ain't no, this ain't no Newcastle brown ale, which is an absolute travesty these days. Anybody from Newcastle knows this. Anybody, anybody who drinks Newcastle that drank it years ago knows what an utter crap a beer it's become. It tastes medicinal compared to what it used to be. So that, that is a brown ale. Wow, but. A statement brown ale, an off white head, beigey off white head, or creamy off white head, we'd call that, wouldn't we? And uh, it looks the bomb, that does. It smells amazing. Oh, funky, twangy beer. Those ops really do deliver some. Whew. It, it's a statement brown ale. I've tasted a lot of brown ales, some good, some great. But this, there's no brown ale that I've ever tasted with that aroma. <sighs> I'm not joking. It's got the pokiest aroma that I've ever tasted. Bloody hell. Brown ale. Wow. Shitting. <laughs> I've been drinking way too much own brew lately. And that's, that's the story of my mornings. Yeah. Shitting! Let's not go down that road, though. <laughs> it's like tropical flavours, meat, brown ale. It's like a tropical brown ale. How crazy is that? And it delivers. It, it's quite... There's a thickness to it as well. Despite the ABV, which is only 4.8, there's a nice thickness to it. And it tastes bloody lovely as well. I need to keep my eye on the... Um, um, I've turned my, my sound of the phone off because dinner's coming. And 
I've got a conversation going. But, but uh, whoa. And it. If you watch this review, you'll like this. Yeah, I want to see a comment about Newcastle Brown. <laughs> uh, Andy is part of the Happy Drinkers. You'll hear a lot more about Happy Drinkers in the channel. Um, in some ways, Raggy's Beer Reviews is emerging. It was always going to. It always going to. Uh, the fact is that the beer reviews in the tap in the tap room are always Raggy's Beer Reviews. Uh, the drinking outside on location uh, when we're with company is Happy Drinkers. Um, and I will announce everything soon. Once there's a bit of content on the thing. And uh, this weekend's the start of it. Tomorrow when I go out drinking, I'm on the reviewing again. And uh, I'm going to do... Do what I do. You know, make this about the beer reviews. Make the channel about the out and about. Happy Drinkers is out and about. And, uh, you know, you've heard it first on this review. That's if anybody watches the review, obviously, you know. Oh. Bloody hell. It's absolutely rattling me. 4.8%. It's got a crack kick in the bollocks. Pardon my French. Although, the, the, to be fair, when we go over to Northern Ireland, the, the Irish swear more than we do, which is uh, funny. But they've got that lovely accent. Oh, I can't wait to go back. Um, although those, um, them steps, I can't remember what you call them. On the coastline, steps. Been to Port Stewart, obviously. The, like, like I've, the, their version of Skegness. And that was all right, to be fair. Not much later, but it was all right. Um, been to some good restaurants over there. Been to some good um, reading weddings over there, and uh, that would probably be the catalyst for us to go over uh, a wedding and go and see all my wife's family. You know, and we got on really well with a lot of them. I got on really well. She, my wife's family, so she'll get on that well with everybody. Uh, but we haven't seen them for a while since you know May. Um, my wife's grandma died, who, you know, um, I mean, she had cancer when she was in the 60s. Um, I and mean, she lasted till, was it 80 odd? Even 90? Crazy. And uh, always, always a beacon, you know, lovely person. Ah, it re I reminisce and... Uh, it's quite emotional, you know. Oh. oh, better not get too emotional. I end up bawling. Right up. Someone's at our front door. Yep. So, I need to wrap up because dinner's here. Better not go up the ass um, in tears. <laughs> you don't get this on of a beer reviews, do you? Yeah. I get emotional, jobs are good, and, you know, these things happen. Ah. And, uh, you know, over the years, we've had some amazing times in Northern Ireland. You know, as somebody from a, a, a Nottingham background who's non-religious, uh, I cannot understand, you know, the religious um, side of things over there. Um, and, uh, you know, it is what it is. Uh, I don't think it's as bad now. You know, there's certainly some people that still want to create trouble. But, um, and that's what they said yesterday, the people from County Antrim. They said mostly it's all gone. And I, I told them my wife's Protestant, uh, her family are Protestant. What does that mean in the, in the grand scheme? Nothing. You know, the, the religion in the world. Religion. If you look at religion around the world, wow, what was the cause of all the wars? Most of the wars around the world were bloody religion. Um, obviously, no offence intended to any religion. So I don't want to go down that road. As a non-religious person, you know, I just find it uh, different. 
but what um, a beer. Bloody hell. This is an absolute a banger. Um, whether you go through Bruiser or whether you go direct to Modest Beer, possibly direct is the better option. Uh, maybe, I don't know. But get this beer stunning. Whoa, a tropical brown ale. <laughs> a southern hemisphere brown ale. Um, yeah, that is a statement beer. I think that's the best of the beers so far from Modest Beer. It's been a good, it's been a good box of beers. And if I'm talking directly to Modest Beer, if you even watch these beer reviews, you may be too busy. Um, when I come across Northern Ireland, I'm hoping to get across the County Antrim when we come across, hopefully. You know, it's a crazy world. Prices of everything is stupid. But we will try and get across. Um, using the Raggy Bear Reviews, you know, the channel. You know, sharing the light on breweries. You know, that's what I do. Uh, my, I'm a gardener, so my, my actual work, you know, I... I don't use this to pay for anything like maybe some do out there in the world. Um, but uh, yeah, hopefully I'll get across the county Antrim and go and visit Modest Bears at some stage. That's the open aspirations anyway. Um, hopefully next year because there's a theme park in, in Ireland that I want to visit. And uh, we need to do maybe a slightly further bit of traveling that's my dinner um so did i enjoy this beer did i would i drink it again absolutely um that was an amazing brown ale probably the best interpretation of a brown ale that i've ever had and uh something my friends at bang the elephant in nottingham derbyshire nottingham nottinghamshire postcode uh this is something that they they would be interested in um yeah uh a new zealand brown ale wow wow stunning stunning beer and uh out of, would i drink it again yes out of five 4.6 out of five yeah a real groundbreaking brown ale rewrites the books in a craft beer way that's why you make craft beer and uh, modest beer if you watch this video Please um, give Bang the Elephant and Alter Ego Brewing, um, both in Derbyshire, <coughs> Derbyshire, yeah, but Nottinghamshire, yeah, postcode maybe, well, for one of them at least. Please give them a message saying, Raggy, you know, if you're ever in the UK, Raggy's Beer Reviews uh, absolutely rates your beers. And, uh, you know, chat about a collab. You know, collabs gets your beers over there. Gets their beers known in Northern Ireland. Uh, it's a win-win situation. And if you do, make sure I'm, make sure, make sure I'm invited. <laughs> but anyway, or at least fucking know about it. Uh, cracking beer. Yeah. Thank you for watching. See you soon.